This is the worst zombie I've ever seen. He doesn't bite. He spends his days in the ground with his cabbage. Actually, it's not that he doesn't want to eat people. It's that he can't eat. He was hungry for dozens of days. Finally, he saw a living person in a remote mountainous area. He wandered around and pounced on two villagers. But they didn't give him a second thought. Even the little kids weren't afraid of him. They treated him like a beggar. Humans are too clever after all. Jack decided on a different target. dog is too vicious. He couldn't bite. Just as Jack is being chased by the dog, he saw a defenseless girl. It looked like a good bully. Excited, he rushes to his meal. Anna thought she'd met a wolf. She ran away. Jack was also chased by the dog. He was so frustrated. The dog had a temper. The dog had chased him from the end of the village to the beginning and still wouldn't let him go. The dog and the two of them were running like that. On the way, Anna's second brother returns from town. He didn't know what had happened. He just ran along. And then Anna suddenly fell down. It was as if Jack had seen a meal about to be served. But then Anna's older brother took a wrong turn. Jack was sent flying for miles. The three siblings were terrified. The three siblings were terrified. But then Jack got up. He scolded them. He was going to keep on cursing. But the next thing you know, the dog is running after them. The man couldn't eat it. The dog couldn't eat it either. He had to go to the toilet to get a meal. But Nick the villager found out. Thinks he's a pervert. He went up to him and gave him a beating. Jack got angry. He grabbed him by the head and started chewing on him and ran away as fast as he could. Nick's scalp was ripped off. On the other hand, the three siblings had just arrived home. They heard the sound of an ambulance outside the door. It turned out that the bitten Nick was their father. The paramedic said he had been bitten by a dog. How many times have I told you it was a bite? Do I look like someone who gets bitten by a dog? But no one believed him. It pissed Nick off to no end. He swore he'd bite him back if he found him. By nightfall, the family heard a commotion in the warehouse. They turned on the light and saw. They found a man had slipped into their barn. It was Jack. He was holding a cabbage and gnawing on it. I guess he thought humans were too cruel. He's never going to eat anyone in his life. So he switched to a vegetarian diet. Nick instantly recognized it as the boy who had bitten him during the day. He grabbed a spatula and gave it a whack. But his son also recognized it as the boy who had scolded him during the day. He went up to him and kicked him in the face. But to his surprise, Jack was impaled by a steel bar in the wall. The whole family was stunned. It could have killed someone. They started to blame each other. But then something even scarier happened. Jack, who had been impaled, was as good as new. He moved away from the rebar one step at a time. This was beyond their imagination. They rushed out and locked Jack in the warehouse. In the end, it was the knowledgeable oldest who saw that this thing wasn't human. So the family took out their phones and watched a zombie movie. They knew for sure that the man in the warehouse was a zombie. And Nick had been bitten by him. The family stood across from Nick in perfect unison. When Nick wasn't looking, the eldest daughter-in-law knocked Nick out. Nick was locked into the caravan. The oldest one rushed to check. How long does it take for a zombie to mutate after being bitten? He also copied down how to deal with zombies. He wrote down a manual on how to deal with zombies. According to the manual, dad's current state is called the incubation period of the virus. He might mutate at any time. The family is debating whether to kill dad before he mutates. But then Nick escaped through the skylight. And without a word. He sat down and started eating. The family was nervous. They were all staring at their dad to see if anything was wrong. Nick felt an itch in his nose, opened his mouth to sneeze. Two thought he was going to bite someone. He's such a good son to his dad. Actually, Nick hasn't changed. Instead, he's 20 years younger. Not only did he look younger, even his waist has become stronger. He could even pee harder. The old men in the village were so envious. They thought he had a miracle cure. Not only did he pay a lot of money for the medicine, they invited him to Hawaii to see a bikini. When he heard about bikinis, Nick couldn't resist. He's ready to let Jack give each of the old men a bite. But when they arrived at the warehouse, they found Jack was gone. It turns out that the old man had heard about Jack's powers. He had kidnapped him and was going to sell him to a medical company. But he got too excited and got pulled over by a traffic cop for speeding. The police officer found Jack tied up and he was arrested as a human trafficker. Nick arrives with the news. As soon as he came in, 
He shouted who had taken my son. He was so touched that he was the only good father in the world. Jack was taken away by Nick's family. He was left in a daze. Luckily for him, ever since he got into the police station, he kept saying that Jack was not a human being but a zombie. The police let him go as a psychopath. At night the family discusses how to make money off Jack. But his daughter-in-law had given Jack all his teeth for safety's sake. To be on the safe side, his daughter-in-law pulled out all of Jack's teeth. How can you make money without teeth? Nick was in tears, but in order to see the bikini, he soon came up with a solution by giving Jack a set of false teeth. Then, they called all the old men in the village overnight and lined them up one by one, putting their hands in the holes for Jack to bite. And the family became the richest in the village. And the old men of the village became energetic. They could run faster than rabbits. And their health became very good. As a treat for Jack, Anna took him out to the field and let him have his fill of cabbages. Jack looked at the cabbages. His eyes were full of Manchus. A man man and a woman in the same place. It was inevitable that a gun would go off. They started laughing and playing, playing a game of eagle and chicken. Jack accidentally pushes Anna down. Suddenly, someone kicked Jack off his feet. It turned out that the boss had misunderstood because he had seen it in a zombie movie. A zombie makes such a move. That's a sure way to bite someone. But he didn't know that his sister was now willing to be bitten by him. The news soon spread to the next village. Old men from the next village flocked to the door. They came to the door and asked Jack to bite them. Jack was once again forced to open his business. And so the word spreads. All the surrounding villages knew the news. Every day many old men came to see Jack. The family's business grew and grew. Naturally, Jack became the family's god of wealth. He moved him from the warehouse into a caravan. He gave him the latest dentures. He was given cabbage to eat. Anna even got him a haircut. Now he looks like a normal person. Just more handsome than normal. But it didn't last long. The place is so isolated. The number of old men in the neighborhood was limited. They soon ran out of business. They decided to go back to their old jobs. The family-run petrol station was refurbished. They thought that with the money they had made during this time, plus the future income from the petrol station, they could live out the rest of their lives in peace. But the next day, the family found out that dad had taken all the money he'd made and went to Hawaii to look at bikinis. The oldest two had the idea of selling Jack again. To protect Jack, Anna let him go in pain. But Jack stood still and didn't move. He was taken away by his brother who arrived. He bought a ticket to take Jack to the city. He sold him to to a medical company for a high price. But then came the surprise. Suddenly all the old men who had been bitten suddenly mutated. In an instant, the village was doomed. The station was overrun. Lao Air found a pickup truck and flew to his home. By now, the house is surrounded by zombies. The older brother and sister-in-law locked the door and hid upstairs. Anna took out the zombie survival manual that her brother had written, followed the instructions. She armed herself with pots and pans. Then the zombies came upstairs and found them. They had to climb through the window and onto the roof. For the time being, they were safe. But the place could have fallen at any moment. Luckily, Dick arrives with a nice drift. Then he pulled out a firework and started shooting at the zombies. setting off fireworks in a gas station. Is this a human thing to do? It didn't set the station alight, but the back of the car was filled with large fireworks. The The sparks set them alight. The darkness of the night was instantly illuminated. The wandering zombies are no longer confused. They found their way. They headed for the gas station. The family hid in the caravan. What a coincidence. Sister-in-law's water has broken and she's about to give birth. In the nick of time, the second one had an idea. He and his brother dressed up in Jack's clothes. They pretend to be walkers and blend in with the rest of them. Then they used a rope to connect the trailer at the door to the caravan. They then drove the caravan away. And it worked. They managed to get into the trailer, but forgot the keys. In a panic, they turned on the lights. The walkers were drawn in. Anna saw her two brothers trapped. He went to rescue them with a weed whacker, but he was soon overwhelmed by the zombies. He was about to be bitten, but a figure stands in front of him. It's Jack. That's when the walkers accidentally broke the power. All the sound and lights were turned on. The gas station was instantly turned into a nightclub.
Seeing the loss of the lights, the boss took the opportunity to go upstairs to get the car keys. Finally, with Jack's cover, they managed to escape from the petrol station. Watching Anna walk away, it could have been goodbye forever. Jack couldn't help but say Anna's name. Well, how can a zombie speak human? They must be pretending to be. The zombies swarmed all over the place. They started to attack Zayazu. In the nick of time, Jack ignited the lighter. The gas station exploded. On the way out, they meet Nick. Back from Hawaii, he's the first one to be bitten. How come there's no mutation? That's when the radio in the car came on. It says that if the bite doesn't mutate, that means there are antibodies in the body and that his saliva could kill the virus. Nick instantly became the hope of the village, so he started a huge charity campaign. Free vaccinations for zombies. How come he's not mutated? By getting Nick to bite the walkers, not only did he cure the village, he went all over the city to get the vaccination. He becomes a hero for saving humanity. And Jack didn't die because he was pinned down by the zombies during the explosion. So he didn't die. Nick cured him, and he and Anna lived happily ever after. This fantastic family film is based on a brainy, a fantastic setting. It makes the spirit of a horror zombie film light and humorous.